Hi. Now, in this question, we're asked to express the complex number minus 2 plus 2 root 3i in the form r cos theta plus i sine theta, where theta is measured in radians and it is greater than minus pi radians and less than or equal to pi radians. So if this is a question you'd like to have a go at, just uh, give you a moment then to pause the video, do come back when ready, and you can check your work solution with mine. Okay, welcome back if you had a go. So first of all, what I'm going to do is to define this complex number. I'm just going to say let z be that complex number. z equals minus 2 plus 2 root 3 i. And what I'm also going to do is draw a sketch then on an argon diagram of that complex number. So what we've got then is our real axis and our imaginary axis. So when it comes to labeling our complex number z, z is going to be two units to the left and two root three units upwards. Okay, so it's going to look say something like that. And if I draw in a triangle, just complete this right angle triangle, what we have got then is two units this way and two root three units up. Complete this by just putting an arrow on here and I'm going to call that Z. So when it comes to working out the modulus of Z, which is the R value here, then we use Pythagoras' theorem. The modulus of Z is going to be equal to the square root then of the sum of the squares of the two sides. So it's going to be 2 squared plus 2 root 3 all squared. And if you work this out, you end up with 4 here, plus 12 here, total of 16, and you've got the root of 16, which is 4. Don't forget, we don't need plus or minus here when it's modulus. We just take the positive value. So that's the modulus. Next, we need the arg of the complex number z. And that will be this angle round here. Okay, this will be the arg of z. And to work that out, what I'm going to do is work out what this acute angle is in here. I'm going to call it theta. And we can see that the tan of theta would be 2 root 3 over 2, opposite over adjacent. And so therefore, theta would be equal to the inverse tan of 2 root 3 over 2. And if you work this out, this comes to pi upon 3 radians, the equivalent of 60 degrees if you're in degrees mode. So make sure you're in radians mode when you do the inverse tan of this value. Okay, so that's theta. So therefore, the arg of z will be equal to, well, that's pi radians, half a turn. Pi minus pi upon 3 is going to be 2 pi upon 3. So that's our arg of z. So we're now going to put this then in the mod arg form. r is the mod and theta then is the arg. So therefore, if we just wind this up, we've got that minus 2 plus 2 root 3 i is equal to the mod, which is 4, multiplied by the cos of 2 thirds pi plus i sine of two-thirds pi. All right.